first thing uh, recently they made some changes in the installations of data loader so firstly you need to install data loader on your client side uh, machine you know on your machine you have to install data loader so recently they made changes i think uh, in last to last edition they made some changes in data loader they used to give the msi file earlier okay which is like typically windows based installer you know msi i think microsoft installer or something so msi file they used to give in earlier editions but now from last couple of edition they are giving different installable and that require now there is something called as there are steps got changed you know whenever i install this data loader it was different and it was it is the same version the data loader same version you will see whenever you install it is 40 45.0.0 it's the same version they do have but the installation steps got changed okay we'll we'll see that so that's why i have to show that installation on your machine instead of washing out my installation and reinstalling we will do the installation on your machine now uh, there is something called as uh, there is a third party jdk you know java development kit so open jdk 11 will be required okay there is a third party jdk customized jdk zulu's open jdk 11 that is required as a prerequisite for your data loader okay so we'll see that there are some hiccups in the data loader installable but finally uh, the outcome will be you will able to see this window you will able to connect to your uh, database and uh, you will able to perform all these operations let's see that how it goes so first thing to do let us do the installation of this data loader on one of your machine okay download the data loader installable first go to setup go to data management yeah go to data management and there is data loader yeah open that data management expand it and you will see data loader as a last option somewhere just scroll down Mm, yes go there okay so here what you can see is that there is a mac installation version and windows installable and mac installable that is available linux installable is not available for data loader okay so maybe we have to find out some other third party utility to do the bulk operation from linux or something okay so let us do one thing let us download the uh, windows installable yeah it may be downloaded in zip form i guess yes so this is what they change instead of msi file it looks that you already downloaded it once and it's second time it's downloaded okay that's fine that's fine uh, you open that in the folder show it in the folder uh, let it be completed first comfortably don't directly click on that you can click on that triangle and say show it in folder any other possibility no, just, just check that okay open just with open. open with explorer and then you should be able to do it yeah okay 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 but now uh, just how about ex extract all mm -hmm. right there on the on the right and top yeah oh, oh that's excellent change the name maybe to folder file will be extracted to this folder uh, yeah so maybe you can create on the root data loader folder you can have okay so data loader and we got this and there is uh, you, what you can see here 
we do have installed that hold on don't click anywhere we do have installed that batch and we do have a data loader dot bat file you know these are the two sure. bat file we do have yeah no problem Shailaja. so this two bat file we have so uh, we have to run that install dot bat but before that let's look at the instructions you know so check out the instructions go to your data loader once again and there you do have windows installation instructions let's follow that yeah okay so basically uh, the first one you can see that install zulu open jdk version 11 so that's uh, that's nothing but uh, the customized JDK uh, by this third party, this Zulu Open JDK. Otherwise, the last data loader, uh, two editions back, whatever data loader I have installed on my machine, that just requires standard uh, Oracle JDK 8, you know, nothing else. But now, maybe they made some dependencies and they require this as the prerequisite. In fact, data loader version, they have not changed. It is the same version, whatever is going to install on your machine and whatever is installed on my machine it is exactly same let us go to that open jdk for windows click on that yeah it will download msi file for uh, that open jdk yeah so there must be download somewhere mm, windows uh, i already have an jdk in my laptop to run the selenium code so will that clash uh, it will not it will not even i oh. do have generally we used to have jdk 8 no it requires yeah. for many softwares rather for yeah. my mule soft tipco i always require jdk so not to worry it will not okay. clash with your existing jdk okay yep 11 i want actually 11 we want so yeah version select that uh, okay okay uh, what it says version for java is it saying okay anyway that's 11 is fine it is also jdk but that's a customized jdk that's fine 11 and windows select windows Okay, so here we will have uh, hold hold for a while. Uh, open JDK 11.3 and MSI we will download. Uh, but what it is showing is uh, server client, server client, and uh, I think we just have one MSI, nothing else. So uh, hopefully this client will be the right one for me. Okay, let's get that client. Download MSI. So hopefully that installation is completed. It's showing you icon also there. So I think it's completed. So let us run that MSI file now. It is very straightforward. Just next, 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 nothing else. Okay. So let us run that. Thank you. 
great so finish that that's perfect okay uh, now let us do one thing uh, let us go to your data loader thing so prerequisite got installed so i don't think any anything else we have to do really so run that right click and say uh, open as administrator install dot bat you have to run exactly that's windows batch file run as administrator so it's a command line uh, file you know run it more info and run anyway don't worry about that run anyway it's a command file you know so that's why it's giving you the alert uh data loader installation creates a folder so that's okay so just say uh, which folder should it use just press enter it will create the default folder that's okay okay so it's copying the whole stuff you know it's a windows installation so a lot of dynamic link libraries a lot of files are getting copied it will take a while you know Hold on. Yeah. Uh, just Thank let you. me complete on maybe Shailaja's machine. Shailaja, it is asking you, would you like to create a start menu? Say Y E S. Yeah. Say Y. Enter. That's fine. It will take yes anyway. Oh, is it yeah would you like to create a desktop icon just put yes okay okay press any key to continue now this this is deadly you know it is saying it's quitting so we we think that something is wrong and it's quitting it should it should have say finishing completing okay it is saying quitting so it quitting means completed without any problem do one thing go to the uh, same folder and there is a data loader uh, dot bat file is there yeah data loader windows batch file run that as administrator let's see whether it is getting executed like this sometime it give you some path error yeah run that right click and run as administrator that's correct okay okay it's it's vanishes right so do one thing do one thing uh, right click in the white area this white area right click and open that in command prompt if you can open it in command prompt is it possible or maybe go to cmd and go to this particular path d colon data loader open cmd and we will manually run that batch file from there okay so go to cd slash slash cd slash slash or copy that path that's fine cd d color data loader just go to d colon and cd data loader it's pretty simple no no just say d colon yeah cd data loader hmm. can you do one thing can you do one thing hold for a while just to record these steps properly just go to your uh, that c colon black in the upper left corner and increase the font a little bit do you know how to increase the font of that go to the upper left corner of this window properties and there will be some edit font somewhere just check it out okay yeah make it large you know mm, really is it cursor size or font real just do one thing once again mm, font font yeah make it bigger yeah that's fine okay now it's fine so get into the data loader and run that data loader dot bat file just say data loader enter right so let's see whether it gives any error something go down scroll down okay let's hold here for a while so whenever you directly run it there there is something happen related to path and all and it cannot get a jar file 
So we are going to that particular directory and we are running it there. So jar file is already there in the same directory. So it gets it there. I think no problem. Your data loader window will be open soon. It's checking whether the Zulu is open or not, uh, installed or not. There. Okay, excellent. And can you show us the command line also? So here one key is there that if you directly run that data loader dot bat file saying that right click and run as administrator uh, It will take the again you have to set path and all those variables and it will get that jar file then uh, So to avoid that what we have done instead of setting the path of jar file in the path variable and all we went to that directory and run the data loader simple so fine so data loader is already open so finally you can see that the data loader which is getting open is like this show the window okay fine great shailaja so